So it's the beginning of day three. It's Wednesday. I believe it's uh, April 30th. And uh, I, I was planning on doing wood chipping today, but uh, I just realized that the uh, excavators still weren't finished with their work, so they came out in the morning. Um, unbeknownst to me, I didn't even know they were coming, and um, they wanted to shape the land some more. And uh, I'm kind of bummed out in a way because I really wanted to leave a lot of the soil alone and just start to re um, add in some more compost and, and mulch it, and it was going to be really good. But like I realized that they really have to shape it a lot more than what I expected. So they're kind of moving some stuff around and I'm kind of like, I feel kind of like a sellout a little bit because I really didn't want them to do like very, very disturbing stuff. But what I'm planning on doing, I'm, re I'm gonna rebuild the soil. I'm putting in more stuff, more compost, more peat moss. Uh, the worms are coming tomorrow. So it's gonna be able to restructure itself. It's not like some Kemlon suburban, you know, turf grass or whatever. It's going to be, you know, I'm rebuilding, but I kind of wish they wouldn't have uh, come in here and kind of pushed the stuff around. But uh, we have our ideals, but when you really come down to it and things need to be done and you, you only have a certain amount of time, but things, you know, things kind of have to be done a certain way, even if you don't want it to be done that way. Uh, but they're getting a lot done. I mean, it's amazing. It, what took us two days, as far as breaking the brush apart, is probably taking them like 10 minutes. It's kind of, it's kind of pathetic how easy it is for them. But, uh, Remember, one of the main reasons that I'm doing this is to show like the average person how easy it is to set up a permaculture site and if I'm gonna suggest that people dig up stumps with shovels and do everything with their bare hands and and do everything like the, the old-fashioned way that's probably the best way but it's gonna take them months and possibly years to do something that these machines could probably do in like a week or a couple days and they're not gonna be encouraged at all if I'm telling them that that's the way they've got to do it. If they've got to do it the old fashioned way, they've got to like hand cut everything, it's not going to work. Like I'm not going to inspire people to do this. So if you can just, you know, work a few days at your regular job and pay these guys to come out here and shape the land, pull out any of the unneeded trees that you're going to replace with fruit trees, it's going to be a lot more um, conducive to encouraging people to you know get this lifestyle started because otherwise it seems way too hard if I'm telling people that they've got to like dig stuff and and we want to make it easy we want to make it approachable so people are gonna say you know you're right I can do this I can hire some excavators they can clear the land I can plant fruit trees I can plant my garden I can build my eco sustainable house have my my rainwater that's the way to do it because if we're making it seem too difficult no one's gonna want to do it so uh, I'm suggesting, you know, if you're not, if you've got the time, by all means, do it. And if you're encouraged enough to do it the, the like the sustain, the fully, fully sustainable way with hands and shovels and all that stuff, then by all means. But if you want to encourage other people, like the regular nine to five suburban, you know, family of five, to get started on these kind of things, you've got to realize that they need an easier solution. And at, right at this point, when we can still use these machines before oil runs out, we should probably use them and get our sustainable lifestyle started as soon as possible. So that way we can be enjoying our fruit trees and this entire life later on, instead of like digging up stuff for months and months and months. You get what I mean? I'm uh, not crazy about it, but it's kind of a necessary evil at this point, so.